Today we're going to be talking about the new kickoff mode coming to FIFA 19. Now we should get more information on this around August 4th. That is when the embargo information is set to be released. But we have a few screenshots today to take a look at and analyze. And I think this is going to be a good episode overall. This is the main dashboard for the new kickoff mode. But I'm going to be analyzing each different tile. And we're going to be reading off what the description of the tile says and stuff like that. So if you are excited, remember to leave a big thumbs up. Let's get to 300 likes on this video. And if you're new around here, Fapex News is your number one source for all things FIFA 19. So make sure you subscribe today and click the notification bell and you won't be disappointed. The first tile today is called Classic Match. And it says play a classic kickoff match with any teams. And then there's like a score counter against different difficulties. You can see it's got zero wins, zero draw, zero wins again for player one. And then it says Professional AI. So this mode is going to count your wins against the computer. I'm not sure if there's a friends option as well, but... We'll see in the future, but I don't think this is going to be very useful for me personally. I don't play kickoff mode on its own unless I've got to record a gameplay or anything. Um, unless you have friends over, I don't really play this. I'd rather play career mode. At least there's a story behind the match, but with these kickoff classic matches, there's no real story. There's no incentive for me to play this, but I guess there's probably a few, a few out there that do play this game mode. And it's just going to be enhanced a little bit, but it's going to be the kickoff mode that we know and love already. The next tile is called UEFA Champions League, and the description for that says play a match in the UEFA Champions League, choose to play in a one-off group stage match, the home and away semi-finals, or the UEFA Champions League Cup Final. Now, I'm not sure why this is useful, because why would you want to play a one-off group stage match, or even the semi-finals? I think if you're going to do a Champions League game, you might as well just play the final, at least you have the full uh, trophy and all that stuff, so I'm not sure why that's a useful thing. And if I was going to play a Champions League match, I'd actually do a full tournament like what you have with the World Cup mode. At least there's a meaning behind the tournament. When you're playing these one-off matches, there's no real point to it. There's no story behind it. So for me, that's a little bit boring. But I guess if you're playing against a friend, it might be fun to do the Champions League final game because you get the full new commentary and the presentation and stuff. It just feels fresh. But yeah, I'm not sure how this tile is actually going to work. So I guess we'll have to wait and see for the full reveal on how exactly EA have implemented this. The next tile is called UEFA Europa League and the description for it says play the UEFA Europa League final and then it's got the score counter between the player and the AI. For that one it says one win for the player, zero for the AI there. Um, I'm guessing you can change the AI as well so that's pretty much a given feature too. And it's basically like the Champions League tile and the classic match tile. And uh, the Champions League one, by the way, didn't have the score counter against the AI so that's a little bit weird. I'm not sure why that is. but. Yeah, it's basically like that, except you get the Europa League branding, and it's a final, so you get the trophy celebration at the end if you win. So it's pretty cool. Um, not sure I'll use it too much. Maybe play it once, get the branding experience, the Europa League stuff, and then I'll probably never play it again. Probably rather play Champions League final matches than Europa League final matches, but it's still there for those people that want to uh, get the most out of this license. And by the way, if you want to see a FIFA 19 example of how this mode is done, make sure you check out the leaked gameplay that came out a few days ago. You've probably already seen it. I think a lot of people have. But that is when they picked the two teams, Man United, Man City, and then they played the Europa League. It had the full branding. It had the uh, commentary, the new commentary by Derek Ray, Lee Dixon. And they do all the UEFA games, so Champions League and Europa League. So that's really cool. Very refreshing to hear as well. And then they have the final trophy celebration at the end. And that's basically the whole uh, Europa League tile for this kickoff mode. So just watch that, and that is how EA have done it. And then just remember that the new kits will be implemented once the full game comes out as well. Now, you might be thinking, this sounds very boring so far. Well, this is the tile that makes everything interesting. It's called House Rules. And the description for this says, Choose from a variety of different ways to play with House Rules match types. From long range to headers and volleys, each match type will have unique rules. Read the individual match type descriptions for more information on the rules. Now, there's tons of rumors surrounding this. We have a very juicy rumor, and I'm going to be talking about that a little bit later for this tile. But this is the one that EA has supposedly gone all out in to make kickoff mode more fun for us. So, let's get into it. Now, at the moment, there's not enough information, and it's very hard to predict how many game modes are going to be in this tile, but they did mention two in the description, that was headers and volleys and long range. Now, I'm not sure what long range is. It could be long range passing, long range shooting. I think it's more of like a shooting type of drill, but yeah, very hard to predict because I haven't seen anything online about it. No soccer drills, nothing like that, so I don't really have anything to show for that. But with headers and volleys, there is 
uh, a video and there's a few different people on YouTube that have done this challenge and I will describe it right now. So headers and volleys is basically like a training drill where you have to score with either your head or a volley and a guy can like cross it to you and then you got to hit it on the first time volley or you control it. You know, stuff like that. As you can see, there's clips on the screen. Maybe a guy can even throw you the ball and then you got to control it with your chest and then volley. So it's basically, yeah, just headers and volleys. So it's something that a lot of footballers do in the training ground. It's pretty fun. Um, but to me, it reminds me of a skill game. So I'm not sure if these house rules are basically another way of putting skill games into the game. It would not surprise me at all if this is just skill games, but just with a few extras added and then it's just put into the kickoff menu instead of having its own little menu. So to me, it's sounding more like skill games rather than house rules, but we'll find out on August 4th. But the big rumors that are coming out for this house rules thing is that FIFA Street might make a return in FIFA 19. Now, it's not going to be a full game, but one of the game modes might be in it. And Lucas, who is a good friend of mine, who is a good uh, FIFA reporter, said that we will have a new game mode in FIFA known as Last Man Standing. And that is according to German press. So I haven't found the German press official information, so take it with a grain of salt. This is just a rumor. But on August 4th, we will have more news about offline modes and a good bit of foot ultimate team news as well and other online modes so last man standing was a fifa street mode it was basically like uh well some people call it a battle royale where it's 5v5 or 4v4 and then as one team scores one player comes off and then you're left with 1v1 or maybe 3v1 you know it's just basically elimination the question is is ea going to do it in a fifa street style or are they going to do it on a football pitch and right now i've put on the screen a fifa 18 skill game which has two goals on either side, and I think that's how the game mode is going to look. It's not going to be a FIFA Street mode. I think they're going to actually have it on a football pitch with two goals, and maybe it'll be 5v5. I don't think it will be 11v11. That will take too long. Um, I think 5v5 will be a shorter game, will be more quicker, make it more fun, and especially with the smaller pitch, you can score goals more easily. So I think it's going to be like that. It'll be like a futsal game, but then with like the, the process of elimination. So... We'll find out exactly what the little game mode is going to be, but I doubt it's going to be FIFA Street. I think it's going to be on the football pitch, and it's going to be similar to what you see on the screen. And the last two tiles for this new kickoff mode are Home and Away and Best Of series. I'm going to start with Home and Away. Unfortunately, I don't have any uh, descriptions for this game mode yet, so new information about this will come out in August. And for me, my guess would be basically two legs versus a computer or an, or an opponent, real-life opponent and you play one leg at home and then you play the next game away and then it's based on aggregate scores as well so it'll be like what you see in the champions league elimination stages like semi-finals and other cup competitions will be a home leg and away leg so pretty straightforward there and i think the best of series is basically like a best out of three best out of five best out of seven maybe against a friend maybe against a computer so it's basically going to be like that instead of having two games where you do the aggregate score at the end you have a best out of three, a best out of five to actually have an outright winner and you don't have to worry about away goals or aggregate scores as well. So that was all the new information we have about kickoff mode at the moment as well as the big rumor that FIFA Street is coming back. To me, it's exciting but not enough for me to play all year, I don't think. I think I'm betting on house rules. If that's a good game mode, then it could keep me coming back to kickoff mode. But in terms of like classic match, Champions League, Europa League, that stuff doesn't interest me because there's no story behind the games you play. I'd rather play career mode, at least you have to play for points and you're, you're doing a story basically. Um, home and away might be fun with a friend, best of series would be fun with a friend. To me I don't really play with friends unless they come over which is very rare. But yeah, I'm betting on house rules, if that is a pretty boring game mode as well, if it's just like skill games then I'm going to be very disappointed. But let me know what you think, are you excited about kickoff mode, the way it looks at the moment? I think it's a nice little menu design, it's very clean. But once again, like I've been saying, August 4th, we will get the full information probably for this kickoff mode. Hopefully it is interesting, but today we got a bit of a look, a bit of a first look, um, a bit of a first analysis as well. And then I'll present another Vapex News video next week when we see the full information get released. So that is the end of the video. If you guys could do me a favor and head on to Instagram, follow me at Vapex Karma. I do a lot of FIFA new faces. Uh, a lot of FIFA vs Pez comparisons as well, so I'm trying to grow the Instagram account and you just have to type in Vapex Karma, it's the same as the YouTube name and I should come up right there and you can follow me. If you want to watch another video, tap the thumbnail on your screen right now. If you want to subscribe to the channel, tap the VK icon underneath the thumbnail and I'll see you next time.